Hello everyone, welcome to a new LP. Today we're going to be starting Code Vein. So go ahead and ignore that continue. I uh, started up a little session to test some things and this music is very loud. Let's go ahead and turn that down just a bit. Because wow, it's it's getting loud. Alright, so this is a the anime Souls-like you may, have, may or may not have seen. Uh, there has been a demo out for it, so you may have seen people doing uh, doing that already. But uh, I haven't played any of it. I have watched somebody play the demo, though. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, hey, can you, can hear, you me? hear me? Think, Think back. back. Search your Search memory, memory for an image, image of, yourself. of yourself. Oh yeah, what was my name? Uh, oh, I actually have to uh, type for this. So yeah, if if you've ever seen Dark Souls or know what Dark Souls is, you probably know what you're in for with this game. As far as I've heard, it's unabas unabashedly Dark Souls. Or trying to uh, be it. Should I be male or female? Um, I usually like, I usually like uh, making a cool girl character, but let's go with male in this particular instance. All right. How anime can we make you? Pretty anime. Let's see. That person just looks like he hopped up right out of, like, Soul Eater or uh, Death Note. This character just looks like a normal person. Like, none of, not many of these actually look like vampires, I would expect, because that's the whole thing with this game, is your vampires. And that's not very many of these characters. I mean, we could just go all in and be this guy. You know what? I think we're just going to go all in and be this guy. I like his sense of style, you know? He looks like he belongs in a Yakuza game. Uh, yes. Um. I don't actually think I'm going to adjust appearance at all. If you even can, I don't actually remember. Confirm? My name is Quasi Mofo. And there we yeah, go. Yeah. That's what you look like. I look incredibly dashing. Now, now. We can finally meet. I look like I belong in a club on the dance floor. Oh yes. Fantastic. I'm ready to hit the club. Alright. So I do know this game has a pretty lengthy demo, so we're gonna try to get through that. Are you clear headed? Not really, never have been. You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. You speak very slowly, if you don't mind me saying. Alright, open uh, the menu. Oops, that's the quick menu apparently? Interesting. Okay. So, what is my blood code? This? We are a fighter. Code owner unknown boasts endurance for melee combat, raises abilities based on strength and dexterity. Uh, I'm currently over cap for weight. Does that mean I'm going to fat roll? Alright. Passive effects on off. Uh. Apparently my passive effect gives me an HP boost. Yeah, 150 HP. Okay, yeah, there we go. Health boost. Forced stamina usage? I don't know what that means. I have three actives. Adrenaline, blood guard, and triple annihilator. Alright, a lot of this probably isn't going to make sense yet. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever-increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. Hmm, she's echoing. Try equipping Adrenaline. Revenants are known to be capable of using unique techniques such as gifts. Which gifts can be used depends on the Revenant's blood code. Passive gifts grants constant effects simply by being equipped. While active gifts must be used to grant their effects. Um, okay, those are... Gift quick slots up, down, left, right. Okay, so triple annihilator, restorative offering. 
Adrenaline is, I think, the one they want me to try. Alright, so try using it. Hold RT and press up. Oh, in this case, Y. Okay. Cool. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. Will do. Okay, my Icor and gifts have been reset. Lock onto an enemy. I can dodge with LB. I mean, well, I can dodge with B. I can guard with LB. And I also see my stamina bar down there. Oh, cool. I have a massive hammer. Good to know. Well, I'm definitely going to be rolling with that. Boom. Cool. Here we go. Backstabs? Well, I back crushed his skull in. Is that good enough? Alrighty, what now? Well done. Thank you. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. Yeah, I'm the protagonist. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. Okay, so we can change classes. Ranger, this code excels at providing support and defense buffs with gifts. Um, I think this game is co-op and you always have an AI partner. So I guess that's mostly what this is useful for. I don't really... That blood code is known as Ranger. Oh dear, that weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. Excuse me, just the bayonet? Oh, it's it's actually a gun attached to the bayonet. Okay, makes sense. Oh, firing your bayonet requires Icor as well. That and gifts means Icor always seems scant. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. Sure thing. Uh, lock on, hold A to drain? Oh, okay. So I actually have to charge it up and then attack. And that gets me some of that Icor. I tried to do the combo drain. That doesn't seem to be working. Well, there's a backstab. I see. So that gives us a lot of Icor, I guess? RB plus A is combo drain. That is what I'm pressing. Huh. Well, I guess we just don't know how to do the combo drain. Oh, hey, you just appeared out of its dead body. Cool. That sums up the ranger blood code and drain ring. Cool. Now, turn your gaze Oop, inward. I skipped a bit of dialogue there. Caster, specialized. Okay. Apparently, we're going to go through a lot of the classes in this tutorial. All right. Caster. That is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. That doesn't sound like magic from any fairy tale I've ever seen. All right. Try using bloodshot. RT. Okay, so it's RT and Y. I'm assuming. I mean, it's. There we go. Bloodshot favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. Okay. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. Yeah, this demo. I mean, this uh, tutorial is 
long. When you're near a missile, press A. Yeah, it's just like bonfires. Require caster. Shoot an intense flame. Weapon drain. Okay, let's just let's just use this one. Because that one's the only one that sounds like it actually does damage. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? Well first I have to equip it. Whoops. Yeah. So boom. On it goes. And now I can use it. Cool. I learned pyromancy. However, its cost and eye core is high. So be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. Okay. Fighting raises your proficiency with any gifts that you have equipped. Once you reach maximum proficiency, you have mastered it and are able to equip it even after changing blood codes. Gifts, however, do have stat requirements. Even gifts you have mastered cannot be used if you do not meet their stats. Oh, cool. So I can learn, like, mage spells and then switch to a uh, warrior, for example. Boom. Eat magic. There we go. Caster seems okay. It's it. I like that it incentivizes actually having to go back in on the enemy to actually get your mana back. Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? Yeah, I guess. The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this. Your blood is the only teacher you have. Huh. Well, that that was a tutorial. Cool, are we gonna get to the game now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to play. Yeah, I like I said, I've seen somebody do that before, and it, it was even longer when they did it, but I don't know. I, I get it. I just I just needed to make sure I got some of the uh oddities. Of this game. Hello? You're the girl from the box. Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? I'm alright, I guess. Do you like my giant heart on my chest? Pretty cool, right? By the way, I left this dubbed so it would be easier to watch, so you don't have to watch it all the time to read the subtitles. Thought that was a good idea. Wow, my guy looks like such a dweeb. Kind of love it, though. Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. Your shirt looks like it's barely containing what you have, ma'am. You should maybe get a new shirt. Maybe they're hard to find around here? I, I don't know. She also has like some doilies on her leg. Alright, it appear we have an objective. Good, good. Apparently I'm not too enthused about this, uh objective because boy I'm not moving fast You're just walking around barefoot girl yeah pretty dry I guess in like a destroyed city yeah no don't worry I have that covered I am here with you yep I'm moseying on along don't mind me my guy looks really worn out but he kept the sunglasses, and that's what matters. I mean, as you can see, it's very sunny here right now. A spring will slake our thirst. Oh, are we hungry because we're vampires? That what's going on here? It 
seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst, one that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. I think it's all right. I don't believe I gave you permission to eat me, ma'am. I don't even know who you are yet. My guy's like, man, screw this. I don't even know what's happening, and I just got my arm bit. I don't like it. So, it is you. Oh, cool. I can grow, like, pomegranates or something with my flesh. Here, this is for you. Hmm. Kind of looks like a Christmas ornament. Kind of curious about the setting here because there's like cars and stuff. My character looks ridiculous in cutscenes. I love it. I love it so much. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. Ha <laughs> We really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. Man, I'm kind of tired. Yeah, she's a little creepy. Having bayonets pointed at her and she's just like, yeah, whatever. I love how my heart on my chest is just like a constant source of light. Whoa, keep it down. Your friend just fell asleep. Oh, her? I see. See, she's still uh, walking around without shoes. Bit weird if you ask me. Uh, are we getting some stuttering here? Potentially. Uh, yeah. All right, let me futz with some settings really quick. Uh, never mind. It actually won't let me pull up the pause screen right now, so I guess we're just gonna go ahead with this. Hello. The view never improves, does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Get it? There's nowhere to go home Oops. to, even outside of this prison. All right, I should really just let let the dialogue play out rather than uh, try to push it forward. What is this? I acquired a mask. All right. Uh, do we want to talk to anybody else? Hey. Wandering, they say, the folks up there. They might live in safety. But because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm going to make thralls out of the whole lot. This guy kind of looks like Ryuji from Persona. Ryuji, is that you? Did you become a vampire? I guess I'm not going to get anything really important out of these characters, so let's just go. All right, can I can I access my pause menu, please, so that I can uh, mess with some of these graphic settings? Because this is day one, so there this probably isn't a performance dry. patch yet. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right, I'm on my way. <laughs> All dried up, just like the others. Yeah, all dried up, so there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... That was rude. You know what these are, right? 
blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there! You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. Man, I wouldn't mess with me. Have you seen how great I look in those sunglasses? I would watch my back if I were you guys. You heard him. Move it! Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. We all have very, very nice clothes for the vampire apocalypse. Alright, so now that we're actually here, resting at Thistle, can do that, I guess. Uh, no. Alright, now that we're actually here, I can futz with some settings, so be right back. Alright, I messed with some settings a little bit, hopefully that helps. Be ready for anything. Recording and playing at the same time obviously causes a hit in performance, so we'll see if we can go with dead that. Lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Or so I've heard. Weak Sometimes attack and strong attack. Transformation to stop to you, so we can, just leave them. can you stop talking and instead help me with this enemy? Thank you. Good job, Oliver. I'm proud of you. As you can see, my heart glows for you. And I... Nope. Sneak uh, attack didn't work. Uh, okay. We want to go ahead and switch weapon. Yeah, oh cool, a nice giant... I was thinking I still had my hammer. Yeah, of course that's probably not the case. But a nice big hunk of rebar works too. You have to use whatever you can to survive. Can I have your hammer? I'm kind of stuck with this rebar at the moment. Or it's like cement on rebar? I don't know what the actual term would be. Oh cool, there's some items here. I didn't even notice these. What do we got? A lost shard. And another lost shard. That's probably death. Would be seriously bad news. You don't say. Using and upgrading regeneration. HP can be recovered through the use of regeneration. Resting near a missile will refill your regen stock. The number of regens and the amount of XP recovered can be increased using regen and extension factor and regen activation factor. Regen can be selected as uh, an item while exploring. I don't want to heal though. There we go. I can't just close the tutorial. I was scared it was going to be... Um... Please don't fall. I'm not going to fall, buddy. We are just going to massacre this enemy though. Yeah, good stuff. Alright. I wonder if you can fall. Usually in Souls games you can, so... Is there something good in there? Uh, yes. It's a heavy axe. There's absolutely something good. Oh. Hammer of Thraldom? It's just a haft with a heavy concrete block at top. Wow, it actually scales better with strength and dexterity than this heavy axe, but the heavy axe does massively more damage, so... Yeah, heavy X probably what we're going to go to. Equipment and equipment restrictions. Each piece of equipment has stat requirements and weight. Exceeding your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attacks. Not meeting the stat requirements greatly decreases your attack power. 
Equipment can be changed from the menu screen. Both a weapon and a sub-weapon can be equipped. These weapons can be switched without opening the menu. Which way do you think is better? Um, I don't know, man. We don't really have a map, so I have no idea where I'm going. But it's shiny over here. Uh, hi. Ooh. Give him the big attack. Boom. There we go. They can't handle our tag team. I wish I could high-five him. What was the game you could always high-five your friend? Oh, yeah, Army of Two. Queen Iron. What is that? Hello? What does Queen Iron inventory? Uh, probably a crafting material. Yeah, yeah, okay. Crafting material. Nothing too interesting. Retrieving haze. I can die and I can retrieve my blood stain. Good to know. All right, get that out of my face. I know this already. Wooden boxes. Who stacked them here? I know who stacked them here. That enemy right on the other side. I, I feel dizzy. Why do you feel dizzy? Talk to me, Oliver. Tell me your problems. Focus state. Your focus gauge fills if you hit and dodge enemy attacks. Once full, your stamina will be replenished and you will enter a focus state. You become harder to stagger and can more easily stagger enemies. You also gain the ability to knock enemies into the air and perform a drain attack on one. RB plus Y is a launch attack. Yeah, no, that appears to be a launch. Is that not... Uh, No, yeah, okay. That's not just my regular Y attack. Cool. Can I can I do that one scary. combo attack now? RB and A? No, it won't let me do it. What's that doing there? I don't know. You talk too much, Oliver. Has anybody ever told you that? You ask too many questions. How about you just shut up and let me do my job? Uh, oops. I was going to uh, backstab you, but that didn't work out. Oh, oh we have we have a ranger, huh? Hello. Oh, jeez. Okay. I had to remember how to guard for a second. Ow. And down you go. That was not a lot of fun. I mean, is killing usually fun for you? Weirdo? What the hell was that noise? Is there something good in there? A lost bayonet. Yeah, you know what? I'll try a gun. Why not? Actually, do I... What did, what did I just open? I don't know. Do I... Oh yeah, I can switch classes. So I... It uses mind, willpower, and dexterity, and it does not scale that well. Well, I mean, it's probably better than the pipe. So I'll at least equip it for that reason. Where do I see my actual stats? Here we go. Um, I guess stats are my over there on the side. I guess we just get a letter grade for stats. We actually don't increase them. Interesting. Okay. So, I never actually saw what these other two skills I had were. What are those? Restorative offering. And triple annihilator just seems like a strong triple attack. Open up. Fine, really. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? Maybe you need a like it's lighter weapon. The old type. Hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? That um, girl, she's your friend. Doing right? okay. We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. Uh, no. Can you can you shoot the gun? How do how do I shoot? I forgot. Uh, is it just Y? I think it is. Get him, Oliver. Come on. There we go. Chemical light. So that cost me shooting. Yeah, it cost some of my Icor. Will that come Geisha in noodles? I, I assume it will. I hope we still eat regular food. Oh, hi. Okay, yeah, you finished it off. Good old slime, oh, early RPG us. enemy. Well, this sword actually, I mean, this bayonet, not a sword. 
Actually isn't too bad. I can kind of whack people with the blade and then... Awake MJ018? What is that? Nothing in there. Inventory? No, inventory. An activator used to awaken dormant abilities in a blood code. Okay. It's probably something we just can't mess with yet. I'll wait until it actually tutorializes me on it. Mapping. During the exploration, during the exploration, when you purify the miasma in an area, you will be able to map your surrounding. You can purify miasma by activating a missile, purify a rotten missile, and destroy the loss that infected the missile. Okay, so this is like a save point, I guess. No, it is not a it is not our equivalent of a bonfire, it doesn't seem. Yeah, I know what tutorials are, I'm good. It's, it's just telling me how to get back to them, but I've already seen that in the menu. Alrighty. Where does this lead? Oh, hi. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? He's not looking so hot. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even get to fight him. Might have been like a cool boss fight or something. Looks like our buddy got injured. <laughs> that could have gone better. Looks like your gas mask leaking, dude. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. Oh, you're dead. You're super dead. You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. Yeah, I might as well just go ahead and dig you a hole right here. You should just go ahead and lay in it. All right, I guess. All right. Seems like we're on our own now. Ooh, what is this? Chemical light. Hello. I will gun you. LT. Oh, I can parry? Ooh, let me parry. Okay, I was way too early. I know that now. Ow. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Might not be the best time uh, for practicing my parries right now. Didn't take too terribly long. And there you go. Eh, let's probably switch back to the heavy axe. It just does more damage and it's more reliable, I suppose. Hi. Unfortunate that I only hit you with the uh, third one of that. No. Alright, well I couldn't see his health bar, but he did die. Alright, our buddy sitting here, what, so I'm curious. Was this actually a save point? Also, how do I run? Ooh. Hello. Gimme, gimme. Queen Slayer Greatsword. That sounds nice. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, it's slower than the axe, but it does do more damage. You know what? Let's 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 roll with Oh, it looks ridiculous. Oh, it looks ridiculous. I love it. I love it, I do. Oh, this just leads back down here to you. Alright, well, I guess we're going to continue until we find a save point, I suppose. Hello. I do a lot of damage now, I think. Looks like there's multiple tangos over there. Ooh, you look big. Let me just uh, go ahead and sneak up on you. Hi. Backstab right in the ass, apparently. Boom. Wow, you got like a 12 pack. That enemy was ripped. Whoop. Item. Awake MJ018. I see you hiding there. Unfortunately, it was not enough for me to dodge your attack. And you're dead as well. 
Good old uh, charge attack. Can handle a lot of my problems. Yeah, I may have to futz with the uh, um, graphic settings some more after this. I thought the one uh, little thing that I changed would be enough, but ow. Doesn't seem like it is. Still getting some frame droppage here and there. Uh, ooh, I, that was not a good spot to decide I wanted to heal. There we go. Just stun lock you to death. And I apparently switched to another weapon during that. Alright. Can I get a save point? What's a revenant gotta do for a save point? I'm gonna take you out first. Why? Oh, that wasn't a backstab like I planned for it to be. Hey guys. Oh, that failed. Badly. Can I get your spear? I love spears. Um, you know, let's do this. We've never done it before. Okay, so that's what that is. Just a big, powerful attack. I guess I should have expected that. You guys look like you get up. Level up by spending haze when resting at a missile. Oh, cool. This is exactly what I was looking for. Alright. I imagine these act as save points. So, let's go ahead and level up, and then we can probably end the episode off. Oh, am I leveling up the class? Or myself? Imagine I'm leveling up this specific class. Well, I mean, I do like fighter, so... Is there a reason not to level up? Don't assume so. Increasing my combat ability is cool. Can I acquire anything? Fighter? Uh, I already have all of those. What is this? Oh, I could have used Haze to buy these. Reduce suspense stamina while you're focused. Yeah, that would have been good. Alright. Well, that seems like a good spot to go ahead and end it off here. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.